Hi guys, it's Jody. Today's video, I want to do a specific floating bloom. <laughs> yes, specific. <laughs> uh, with my favorite color palette of all time that's coming back today. But, you know, I am going to uh, retire just for a little bit because I've got some, you know, other color palettes I want to try. And, you know, but that's always my favorite testing color palette. And I do have some new things I want to test coming up. So it'll make another appearance at some point. But this is going to be the last one for at least a little while. So, but I've got an idea with the cell activators and I wanted to see how it, uh, how it panned out. So that's what we're going to do today. So let's go get started. All right. I want to go over all the colors, the cell activator and then the pillow, and then we will get started painting. So <clears throat> I want to do today, we're going to do a floating bloom. And so I'm going to show you the, uh, the background, the swipe that we're going to use first and I actually mixed two this little piggy pigments, uh, Athena and Horizon, because I wanted I wanted something similar to the uh, quinacridone nickel eagle gold, but with some bling in it. And so I thought, oh, let's mix these two together and see what happens. <laughs> so this actually is what came of it, and. Um, the nickel eagle gold. I mean, it's a little bit more orangey, but it has a nice glow to it I thought so I'm excited to see what this looks like here and this is mixed with my Dutch boy Joe Sonia and then you're going to recognize the other colors <laughs> again this is the PBS Studio Acrylics Iridescent Blue Green this is mixed with my Valspar Varathane the rest of the colors now are going to be mixed with the Valspar Varathane pouring medium mix there's that one. And then I have uh, what I just showed you, the quinacridone nico azel gold, the golden fluid. And here's this one. These have gotten just a little bit thick on me, but we're going to roll with it. Like that. Oops. Sorry about that if it was a little bit dark. Still, <laughs> still trying to adjust my lighting a little bit here. And then this last color is a mix of the Golden Fluid Permanent Violet Dark and then the PBO Studio Acrylics Iridescent Blue Black. And this actually has a more blue-black undertone in it. This, this batch I made, I actually made it more blue-black heavy, so you kind of get that. And I've got three cell activators today, and I'll, I'll kind of explain how I want to do this bloom. Uh, we're going to do, for the background, we're going to do the the white and the gold. So I have my uh, Atelier Interactive Titanium white, white Cell Activator mixed with Australian Floetrol 4 to 1. Four parts Floetrol, one part paint. And then the gold that I like to use, which is also 4 to 1, uh, the one part paint is the Atelier Interactive Pale Gold, uh, which is about a half a part mixed with the PBO Studio Acrylics Precious Gold. And there's that consistency. And then I also brought in my black cell activator, which is Atelier Interactive Mars Black. Again, uh, Australian Floetrol at four to one. So those are the three cell activators. And I'll get more into detail about what I want to do when uh, I show you the canvas. And then the pillow we have... I've got my PPG Multi Pro today, so we're going to work with that. I got a full container up on my bench here. So now I want to bring you over to the canvas, explain what we're going to do, and then we're going to get started painting. Today's canvas, I have got a 14 inch square standard canvas. And what I, I want to do a, fl a floating bloom with a swipe in the background. So I showed you that uh, piggy mix. <clears throat> And so what I kind of want to do with that is do a, a white and gold swipe background and then we'll bloom in the center and kind of do the, the floating bloom with the other color. So that is the idea today. So I'm going to get this canvas flooded and we will get started. All right, I've got this all flooded and we are going to start with the swipe since this is a 14 inch and not a 16 inch. I'm, I'm probably only just going to do the four that we normally do. And I'm going to use this palette knife. So I'm going to get it loaded up and I will show you what we've got. All right, so I'm gonna be using just the white and the gold cell activator for the swipe. So I've put down the gold cell activator first, then a little bit of the white, and then that uh, two piggy mix, the Horizon and Athena. And I think we're just gonna go right here. Thank you. 
All right. I am really liking how that's filling in. It actually, that color, it almost looks copper. <laughs> but I think it's gonna look really neat with what we're doing here. So my idea, you know, we're gonna bloom in the center here. And um, if you remember a couple of videos back, I did that whimsically dramatic uh, bloom on the hexagon and I absolutely uh, loved it. But I thought, you know what, what would happen if I you know, put those colors down and used a white and a black cell activator? Normally I've layered them on top in the past. What I wanna do is I wanna put one side black, one side white, and then the idea is to blow it out so I have you know, a half kind of a white cell activator bloom and half of a black cell activator bloom. So that is what we're gonna do here. So, so let's, get, uh, let's get these colors on here. First color I want to put down is the Nico Eva Gold. I think that should be plenty. The iridescent blue green. Ooh. This color and that piggy color would look really nice together. I might have to do something with that future video. And then we've got the purple. I wasn't going to put the, the swipe color uh, that we did. I wasn't going to put it in this bloom. I was just going to leave it for the swipe. Now what I want to do is I'm going to put gold, the gold cell activator on all of it. So I'm going to put the gold down. So, and then I want to put, put the black on this top half, and then we're going to put the white on the bottom half. It's okay if it overlaps a little. Not going to get it perfect, but that's my idea. So now I want to blow this out really carefully. All right, I'm going to go to the white first. That was quite the challenge to keep them separated. I had a lot more white in there than I thought, but I'm gonna let this fill in a little bit and then we're gonna play around with it. All right. Yeah, I couldn't get some of this white uh, to kind of go down. So we might just make a neat little pattern in there. But we'll let that come in. All right, let's play with this. This looks pretty neat actually. It accomplished what I wanted it to. It was very, it was kind of difficult to keep them separate. So cool how different the two sides are. All right, I, I'm, I think I'm done playing. I am so excited to see how this spins out. So I'm gonna meet you over at the Spinner Box and we are gonna see what comes of this. All right, here is what we have. 
before we start spinning this out. I just want to get it just as centered as I can. And we're just going to start spinning and I will guide it as we go. So here we go. Oof. <laughs> oh, that's so neat. Oh my gosh. I need to move this over though. Just a little bit. All right. Give this another spin. Ooh, that was a nice healthy spin. Ooh. I love how different the two sides are. I want to open it up a little bit more though. Just a little bit more that way. Poor little cells on on this side here. I had trouble with the white cell activator getting the cells to come up. They are cute. Definitely more action on the black cell activator side. But this is so cool. All right, let's spin it. just about there, not getting a lot of movement. And I like how this bloom is opening up. I just, if I can get just a little bit off right there without having anything go over the edge, that would be awesome. I'm gonna do a little baby spin here. A little bit more, it's going over the edge. Ooh, yeah. There we go. Oh, look at that. That is so neat. It's kind of like the, 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 the background cells are a bit darker over here than this side. So it's like two paintings in one. That is so cool. Let's just bring this down just a little to get that corner. And I'm going to bring it back up because I'm not getting a lot of movement in the middle, which is good. I don't want, I don't want this bloom to move once it's drying. I'm not even sure on the orientation. I like all four ways again. That's funny with these, these floating blooms, there's just multiple orientations you can go with them. I kind of like that actually. bit of movement right in the middle there but make sure we got that centered yep that is a winner winner chicken dinner that is so cool <laughs> it's like two blooms in one I'm gonna get cleaned up and I will bring you over for the flyover of this guy all right here it is as a whole, I'm gonna bring you in and show you all the the details. I love the how the background is next to this uh, black and white bloom. It's just, it turned out, it's just so cool. I mean, I, I did have a little bit of trouble with the, the white cell activator here. I think I added too much, it was a bit thick, but I mean, it, it turned out really neat. And I got some really nice cells in there. And then with the black cell activator, I mean, it's just crazy awesome. And I love the blend. I love that swig, squiggle <laughs> right there. It's so cool. And this background just really, it's so nice. It's its better than I thought it would be, um, honestly. I, I had no expectations of the background swipe because I'd never used a color like, uh, I've never mixed those two colors together, but really, really neat shimmers are, are gonna come through. Yeah. All right. 
I'm so excited to see how this dries. So I'll be back once it's dried to show you the dried results. Here it is all dry. And you know what? I'm having trouble on deciding on the orientation. I have flipped it all four ways and I like them all. So I just, <laughs> I started this, with this one, uh, but I'll show you the rest uh, towards the end of this little snippet here. But let me, uh, let me bring you in and kind of show you the detail. I love the background and how it just, and you can see... It did kind of have an orange, kind of coppery feel to it, which went really nicely with this bloom. I, I love both parts of it uh, just for different reasons. And even though this these these blowouts in here were a little bit weird, they, they're just so cool. And I love how right there it's, I mean, it looks like it's glowing and then you've got like a little rainbow in there. That's what I just lo I love about these colors. You never know what you're gonna get at all and I will pick it up because there are some really really neat shimmers in here I think that's my favorite little cluster of cells over here so pretty let me pick it up for you there you can see that that gold cell activator and that uh, those pigments that I mixed up too especially over here by my hand so pretty just gorgeous All right, I'm gonna show you all the orientation. All right, here is the second orientation. I love this. And here is more with the black cell activ activator on top. I love this too. <laughs> and then this one as well. I, it's, <laughs> see, <laughs> finally we're back where we started. So I, I, let me know what your favorite orientation is. If you prefer, you know, one way over the other. I'm just really having trouble with this one. And that, I think that's really neat that, you know, it can literally go all four directions without, having uh, you know not having a weird look to it so i'm gonna flip you around and give you my final thoughts that was a fun piece to do but it was challenging to keep try and keep the uh the two different cell activators separate the white and the black the the white wanted to kind of move over and i was like oh no i want the black to come out and then the black kind of took over as i as i blew it out and i just had a few petals with the white i, I was hoping for more half and half but it still turned out really cool and kind of how i imagined it so so i'd love to hear what you thought of this piece let me know in the comments below so with that thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time